The startling truth behind Lincoln assassination. The untold side of the story behind Abraham Lincoln's death. This shocking discovery will make you realize that President Abraham Lincoln could have had a very different ending. By the end of this video, you will see real pictures of Abraham Lincoln's funeral casket. Keep watching until the end of this video. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated at the Ford's Theater. He was a great president, and his death was mourned by thousands. What they didn't know was how differently it should have ended instead. The man responsible for Abraham Lincoln's death was John Wilkes Booth. He was an American stage actor. Together with his brother, Edwin Booth, they both pursued a shared passion and was very successful. What's the one thing you know about actors? Yes, they can be quite dramatic. They have a certain flair when doing simple tasks. Anything assigned to them can become the most exquisite play you've ever seen, whether that be in the kitchen or in your backyard. Another thing that actors share is bravery. They always dare to dream big and act on it. If actors were trained vigorously enough, they would make great warriors. But Booth was never trained for that. So instead, he went for the stealthier option. He would take up the task of assassinating the president. Before all of this happened, there was a meeting with the Confederate spies. Booth was the mastermind of plotting the plan to kidnap Lincoln. The plan was to bring Lincoln to Richmond, Virginia. This was the capital of the Confederate. They were supposed to hold Lincoln hostage and make a bargain. In order for them to free President Lincoln unharmed, the deal was to release the rebel prisoners. Their plan was set, and were it to have gone smoothly, Abraham Lincoln would still be alive. It was the 17th of March in 1865. Booth and his men were awaiting Lincoln's presidential carriage to arrive. They were supposed to commandeer the carriage towards their destination. Lincoln was scheduled to attend a performance of a play. This play was held at the Campbell Hospital. It was for the benefit of the wounded soldiers. However, Lincoln never showed up. The plan had failed. This greatly discouraged the team. Some of them even left the plot after this failed incident. But Booth had other plans. He was determined to do something to free the rebel prisoners. He decided it to kill Lincoln rather than just kidnap him. After assassinating the president, he shouted his victory phrase and jumped from the presidential box to the stage. From there, he rode on a horse and fled the scene. Now that is an actor if I've ever seen one. The flair of the guy is unmatched. It left everyone dumbfounded at what had just happened. The people in the theater felt it was not the proper place for the president to die. Soldiers rushed Lincoln to the Peterson family's boarding house so that he can pass away peacefully. He was surrounded by the people who loved him and known him the most when he took his last breath. After the president's death, they continued to search for the murderer. It was a nationwide search for this man. John Wilkes Booth planned his escape so well that it took 12 days for him to be captured. Granted that he was one of the most famous actors during his days. What other achievements could the president have done if his fate took this turn instead? What could history have been like? Comment your thoughts down below. Click on this next video to watch Did Abraham Lincoln really predict his own death?